Now we're going to take a look at the graft that we did. Um, this is the old Red Delicious on our M111 rootstock. Um, and when I take a look at this, I see that I have a node that's pushing already right here. So it looks like, for now at least, that our graft has been successful. Now I also see some growth coming from the, the sprouts that are underneath that. So that would have been where the rootstock was. Sorry, the paper makes it so that you can see it in focus. Um, I'm going to pick those off because if we allow the plant to give its energy to its rootstock here, it's going to, it's the easiest pathway, the path of least resistance. So it would prefer to push out these buds over this. So I'm going to pick those off um, and try to promote the growth to come out of the top. Uh, I, I think that I could probably unwrap this right now and it's not going to damage it, but we're going to want to do that really carefully. So I'm going to move this piece of paper because it's just going to fall anyways, and I apologize if it goes out of focus while I'm doing this, but I'm just going to try to carefully remove this. Well, that's nice. Okay, so it's easy to carefully remove the rubber band. The not quite as easy part would be removing the parafilm. Definitely can't do it with gloves on. Ooh, but I have this fancy tool with me. Again, so maybe I can just scratch that a little bit. Maybe I can get it started down here with my fingernails. It's hard. My fingernails have gotten soft with all this glove wearing, so sometimes they don't pinch quite as good as they could. All right. Normally, I would not recommend taking this parafilm off, but since this is for science and education, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it so that we can see what the tissue looks like that's healed underneath. I would Usually, I would just let this stay on the tree, the, the parafilm, um, until it falls off naturally. But we want to see it today. So it's going to take me a second to peel it off. Okay, so I've gotten the parafilm peeled off. Didn't damage too much of the stem, so that's a good thing. And this is what it looks like healed together. 